Well, hello and welcome to you on what has been a really wintry evening all over the place. We've had snow particularly in this neck of the woods for most of the day and we have to be extremely grateful for the efforts of this evening's hosts in ensuring that our match here can go ahead as planned. There were reports earlier regarding potential difficulties reaching this venue and you can understand why. And you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Real Valladolid have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Karim Benzema. What a great player to have leading the line, Peter, because his first touch is A-grade, and he's got the physical attributes to keep defenders at bay too. He's not just a workhorse, though. He can pass and finish with, with a plum, and is particularly adept at, at bringing... Shoots! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Valverde gets it back. And now the breakaway. Has a pop! And the defence can get it clear. And it's Modric. Could move up a gear here. Orellana. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I have noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. And here's Benzema. Good clearance and very necessary. And that's a throw in. And here's Modric, hoists it forward, Mesa, Roque Mesa gets it out to the wing, chance to break, Casemiro battles to win it back, Casemiro plays it forward, out to the left it goes, Vinicius Junior. And here's Benzema. He's gone for it! Goal! Real Madrid! And Real Madrid are ahead! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Real Madrid break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Mesa. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And it's played forward. Real Madrid have it back and they can go again. And back to base. Sergio Ramos. Modric, Modric goes looking, Real Madrid, chance! That carried quite a threat. Great leap! Can and in again! And that's 
caused a worry or two. Vinicius Junior did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. He's through. Vinicius Junior. Oh, nice touch. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Forward it goes. And that is as far as they're going to go. And we hit half time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Real Madrid come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Sergio Ramos proves too strong there. Modric. And here's Benzema. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Benzema really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. And it's hoisted clear. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. Plays it out to the wing. With a delicate ball. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Back to the keeper and go again. Sergio Ramos tries to get it forward quickly. Vinicius Junior. And here's Benzema, has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. Vinicius Junior. Modric. Rafael Baran. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. And here's Azar. And the finish! And he comes up trumps again. Vinicius Junior drives it forward. Modric. Real Madrid are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Going for goal! Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver a finish of true class and there's the goal they've been looking for 
Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Real Madrid have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. And it's played forward. Goes for the cross. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's on his way. Has a hit! And for a moment, time stood still. Mesa plays it out to the flank. And time is up. Real Madrid have won it as much industry.